Hey everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to knit this beanie. This is a child size. Um, it fits my four and a half years old and it fits my nine and a half years old. Um, but for the nine and a half years old, it's a little bit too short for him. But if you want to make it, um, you can make it longer. It is very, very stretchable. So the measurement is... Just let me grab my all right so without stretching it the circumference is I will say about six twelve inches around but this is a very very stretchy yarn and it can stretch really really wide and, and for the top down it is seven inches okay so as i mentioned even though this is unstretched it is 12 inches it's a newborn almost newborn size but this is a very stretchable very stretchy beanie so yep um the yarn that i use it is a dk weight yarn lightweight yarn number three and i'm going to show you the yarn that i'm uh, that i use for this beanie i really really love it um, it is alpaca and acrylic blend and it is perfect for early spring, late fall and definitely perfect for um, winter. This is this um, material with the alpaca, it makes it really really warm but of course right now it's almost summer um, but I just want to show you how to knit this fabulous beanie. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to show you the yarn and knitting needles that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So as I mentioned, I use lightweight yarn number 3 for this beanie. And this is the yarn that I use, um, Yarn B, Fair Isle. You can get this from Hobby Lobby. And the colorway is Appalachia. And it's a lightweight number 3 right there and the fiber content for this this is 80 percent acrylic and 20 percent alpaca okay so the fiber um, combination the acrylic and alpaca it gives a really really good stretch okay so um it depends on the yarn that you use um different fiber it will come out um with different stretchiness or different thickness okay because not all lightweight yarn number three has the same thickness and not all yarn is stretchy okay so the tutorial for this tutorial as i mentioned i'm going to be using this yarn so for the knitting needle you need two kind of knitting needle this is 16 inch 5 millimeter knitting needle 16 inch is from tip to tip from here to here from this end all the way to here it is 16 inches and the size of the needle is five millimeter it's somewhere right here there you go five millimeter and the double pointed needle this is also five millimeter double pointed needle Okay, so with a pretty let's start. Oh, okay, so you also need stitch marker, one stitch marker and tapestry needle and also scissor to cut your yarn. Okay, so let's start. Grab your yarn and I'm going to cast on using the long tail cast on. And if you're not sure how to cast on using the long tail cast on method, I do suggest you to check on YouTube. Um, I'm very sure there's a lot of tutorial on how to um, do the long tail cast on I'm not going to show you in this tutorial so I'm I'm going to show you the slow motion on how to do it but I'm not going to explain the whole steps on how to do the long tail cast on okay so basically long tail cast on is you want to have a very long tail 
this is how long I have and make a slip knot and I'll grab the knitting needle the 16 inch um, knitting needle and insert the hook right there and we're going to cast on 64 stitches okay this stitch on the crochet hook count as the first stitch so now we're going to cast on another 63 stitches to make it total 64 okay so to do the long tail cast on is two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 okay so once you cast on 64 stitches now you're going to bring one the stitch um, all the stitches to one end to the other end okay so what I mean is bring this all the way to the tip because we're going to knit in circle and we want to join the first round so while you're doing it make sure all the yarn is um, all the stitches is not twisted and this part right here it should be facing in okay so this is the tail i have left after i cast on all 64 stitches if it is too long just cut a little bit just enough for you to weave in ends okay because you don't want it to be too long and it's gonna you're going to confuse the working yarn and the tail okay but for me this is okay enough short enough for me to um not to get confused the working yarn and the tail okay so now grab your stitch marker and put at the right side of the needle and we're going to start round one and now before we start round one we're going to join the stitches all right so now we're going to for round one um for round one until round eight we're going to do the ribbing stitch where we're going to knit two and purl two okay so now we're going to join and just make sure it is not twisted and we're going to knit the first stitch and knit the second stitch okay so knit one and knit the second stitch and two now we're going to purl two stitch to purl bring the yarn forward and just adjust all the stitches as you go and bring it to the left side of the needle so it's easy for you to knit all the time okay so we're going to purl two one and two okay now we're going to knit two bring the yarn at the back of the needle and you're going to knit two one two going to bring all the stitches to the left needle and now we're going to purl two bring the yarn forward and purl to one and two okay so you're going to continue knit two and purl two until you knit all the stitches right here and the last two stitch before the stitch marker this stitch and this stitch these two it should be a purl stitch okay so go ahead and finish up round one knit two and purl two until you reach the very last and i'll see you once you're done okay so once you knit round one you need to and purl two all the way to the very last stitch as i mentioned this last two stitch should end with purl stitch 
Okay, so now we're going to continue the next round. Just going to slide the stitch marker to the right needle and just pull the tail down. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same as round one. We, we're going to knit two and purl two until you reach round eight. Okay, so now we're already done with round one. So for round two, we're going to do exactly the same as round one. Okay, we're going to need two stitch and purl two stitch. Knit okay, two and purl two. Knit two and purl two. Okay, going to repeat as I mentioned until you reach round eight. Okay, so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with the ribbing stitch, this is how it looks like. It's a little bit hard to see because the color of the yarn, but this is the knit two and purl two. So next round, round nine, we're going to make two stitch increase to make it total 66 stitches. Okay, so um, from round one until round Eight, you have 64 stitches so for round 9 we're going to make extra 2 stitches to make it 66 stitches so that we can um, do the decrease evenly once we reach the top or once we ready to do the decrease okay so for round 9 we're going to do to make 2 extra stitch so, so slide the stitch marker to the right needle and now we're just going to knit few stitches okay around now we're going to make two stitch extra but we're going to make it um, far from each other okay so I've knitted few stitches now I'm going to make the first stitch increase so to do the stitch increase, you can either do yarn over and do the knit for the yarn over at the at round 10. Or what I normally like to do is just pick up the stitch right here. Okay, this one at the top and slide it to the left needle. And you're going to knit this stitch and you're going to knit at the back of the needle at the back stitch okay so we made extra one stitch so now you're just going to need a few more stitches before you make the second increase Okay, now I'm going to make my second stitch increase. So pull this yarn, slide it to the left needle, and you're going to knit at the back. Okay, so we made or um okay, so we made two extra stitches, one somewhere right here, um this one, and one is this. So you're going to knit all the way till the end and by the end of round 9 you should have 66 stitches after we increase um, by 2 stitches. Okay so go ahead and finish up round 9, knit all the way back to the stitch marker and I'll see you once you're done. Okay so once you're done with round 9. Round 9, as I mentioned, you should have 66 stitches around. So for the next few rounds, round 10 until round 28, you're just going to need every stitches and every round you should have 66 stitches. So for the next few rounds, round 10 until round 28, you're just going to need every round okay so go ahead and finish up and i'll see you at the end of round 28 
Okay, so once you knit until round 28, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now um, for round 29, we're going to knit using the double pointed needle. So for row tw round 29, we're going to knit around. Um, as we knit, we're going to transfer stitches to the double pointed needle. Okay, three double pointed needle will be on the beanie and one to fit each um, double pointed needle. Okay, so we have 66 stitches um, on this double on this circular needle. Okay, so 22 stitches on each double pointed needle. Okay, so it's just a regular knit. Instead of using this end, we're going to use the double pointed needle. Okay, so for the first double pointed needle, we are going to knit 22. Okay, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, so we have 22 stitches on this needle. Just push all the stitches to the center so it won't slide off the needle. So we're going to get the second double pointed needle and we're going to knit um, 22 stitches on the second needle. and 22 okay so second double pointed needle there's 22 stitches so now we're going to get the third double pointed needle and we're going to knit the rest of the stitches on the circular needle to the third double pointed needle okay you should have 22 stitches here as well okay just push all the stitches to the center of the needle so it won't slide up okay so one 21 and 22 okay so we transfer all 66 stitches on these three double pointed needles so 22 stitches on each of these double pointed needle okay so now we're going to knit round 30 three zero so sometimes using double pointed needle you most of oops I slip one stitches off right here. Okay, sometimes that um knit using double pointed needle it can sometimes get confusing where is the beginning and where is the end which which is the first double pointed needle and which is the last double pointed needle it is easy to um, figure out by knowing where is the tail so this is where we started so this is should be in between these two so this is the first and this is the last okay so now we are going to knit round 30 for round 30 we're going to make six decrease so we're going to make two decrease on each of these double pointed needle so we're going to knit nine and knit two stitch together knit nine and knit two stitch together okay so i'm going to start knitting the first double pointed needle round 30 the first needle i'm just going to push this okay knit nine one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to knit these two stitch together. So 
so just like a regular knit except that you're going to knit both of these stitch together okay so we're going to do the same knit nine and knit two stitch together one two three four five six seven eight nine and going to knit these two last um, two stitch together okay so now we are done with the first double pointed needle now at the first double pointed needle right here because we already did two decrease now at this um, first needle you should have 20 stitches okay so at the second double pointed needle you're going to do two decrease as well you're going to knit nine and knit two stitch together so as i mentioned each needle you're going to make two stitch decrease knit nine and knit two stitch together done with the second double pointed needle second double pointed needle you should have 20 stitches after we decrease um, two stitch okay so now we're going to do with the last double pointed needle all right so this is where we started and this is the last double pointed needle so the third needle we're going to decrease two stitch as well knit nine and knit two stitch together one okay so we're done with round 30 as i mentioned each needle you should have 20 stitches after we did the two decrease so for round 30 you should have 60 stitches around okay so now we're going to do round 31 for round 31 we're just going to knit all the stitches okay okay so um round 31 we're just going to knit all the stitches no decrease for round 31 okay so go ahead and finish up round 31 knit all 60 stitches and you know that you at the end of the round once you reach this tail right here okay so i'll see you at the end of round 31 Okay, so once you're done round 31 you need all the stitches so now for round 32 we're going to do decrease six decrease so two decrease for each needle okay so this is the first needle and for the decrease we're going to need eight and need two stitch together okay need eight need two stitch together need eight and need two stitch together okay we're going to do the same for every needles eight one two three four five six seven eight and knit these two stitch together okay we're going to do the same knit eight one two three four five six seven eight and knit two stitch together all right now move on to the double um second double pointed needle you're going to do the same knit eight and knit two, knit two stitch together knit eight knit two stitch together and same goes to the third double pointed needle okay so go ahead and finish up round 32 make total of six decrease and two decrease for each needle 
Okay, so I'm going to see you at the end of round 32. Okay, so once you're done with round 32, you should have total of 54 stitches around. So each needle, you should have 18 stitches. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, every needle, you should have 18 stitches. So around it's 54 stitches. So for the next round, round 33, you're just going to need every stitch, no decrease for round 33. Okay, so just knit all the stitches. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 33, knit all 54 stitches and I'll see you at the end of round 33. Okay, so once you're done with round 33, now for the next round, round 34, we're going to make 6 decrease, 2 decrease on each needle. Okay, so with, for round 34, we're going to, for each needle, we're going to knit 7 and knit 2 stitch together, knit 7 and knit 2 stitch together. Okay, it's, um, it's going to be the same decrease for every double pointed needle. Knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to knit two stitch together. Okay, knit seven, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and knit the last two stitch together. Okay, so after you made the two decrease, you should have 16 stitches on the first double pointed needle. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six. Okay, now the double second double pointed needle going to do the same. Knit seven and knit two stitch together. Two decrease on each needle okay so go ahead and finish up round 34 each needle you're going to knit seven and knit two stitch together you're going to repeat twice for each needle okay so I'll see you at the end of round 34 okay so once you're done with round 34 you should have total of 48 stitches around so as I mentioned, each needle, you should have 16 stitches. Okay, 16, 16, and 16. So next round, round 35, we're going to do decrease as well. So from now on, we're going to do decrease on every round. So for round 35, you're going to knit six and knit two stitch together. Two decrease on each needle, knit six, knit two stitch together, knit six and knit two stitch together. We're going to do the same for every needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, and knit two stitch together. Okay, knit six, one, two. Three, four, five, six, and knit this last two stitch together. Okay, so done with double pointed needle number one. So on this first needle, you should have 14 stitches after um, the two decrease. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four. Okay, now you're going to repeat for the rest of the two needle knit six and knit two stitch together all right so go ahead and finish up round 35 and i'll see you at the end okay so once you're done with round 35 as i mentioned each needle you should have 14 stitches after you did the two decrease so around total for round 35 you should have um 32 32 stitches 
Okay, so the next round, round 36, you're going to make six, dec six decrease as well, two decrease on each needle. We're going to knit five and knit two stitch together, knit five and knit two stitch together for every needle. Okay, so this is the first needle. You're going to knit five and knit two stitch together. One, two, three, four, five, and knit two stitch together. Knit five, one, two, three, four, five, and knit two stitch together. Okay, so each needle you should have 12 stitches after the two decrease. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so go ahead and finish up the rest of the stitches. And I'll see you at the end of round 36. Okay, so once you're done with round 36, you should have total of 32 stitches around. As I mentioned, each needle you should have um, 12 stitches after the two stitch decrease. Okay, so now we're going to do round 37. We're going to make six decrease as well, two decrease on each needle. So we're going to knit four and knit two stitch together, knit four and knit two stitch together. Knit four, one, two, three, four, and knit two stitch together. Now knit four, one, two, three, four, and knit two stitch together. Okay, so down with the first needle, you should have 10 stitches after the two decrease. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 37. Um, each needle, you're going to knit 4 and knit 2 stitch together twice. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 37 and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with round 37, you should have total of 30 stitches around. 10 stitches on each needle so now for round 38 we're going to make six decrease as well two decrease on each needle so we're going to knit three and knit two stitch together knit three and knit two stitch together same goes to the rest of the needle okay so knit three one two three and knit two stitch together knit three one two three and knit two stitch together okay so once you made a two decrease on each needle you should have eight stitches two four six eight okay so go ahead and knit the rest of the stitches and i'll see you at the end of round 38 okay so once you're done round 38 you made six decrease on each needle you should have eight stitches so total around you should have 24 stitches okay so the next round round 39 you're going to need two and knit two stitch together knit two and knit two stitch together okay now round 39 knit two one two and knit two stitch together so next knit two, one, two, and knit two stitch together. So done with the first needle, you should have six stitches on um, the first needle after you made the two stitch decrease. So now the second needle, you're going to knit two and knit two stitch together as well. Okay, so each needle you should have six stitches. So around you should have total of 18 stitches. All right. 
Okay, so now we're going to knit the last round, round 40. So for round 40, you're going to knit one and knit two stitch together, knit one and knit two stitch together. Okay, last round, knit one, knit two stitch together, knit one, and knit two stitch together. So done with the first needle, you should have four stitches. Now the second needle. Knit one, knit two stitch together, knit one, and knit two stitch together. Next, the third needle, the last needle. Knit one, knit two stitch together, knit one, and knit two stitch together. Okay, so once you're done with round 40, you should have four stitches on each needle. So total, you should have 12 stitches around. Okay, now we're going to cut the yarn. Just cut um, about 12 inches long or just enough for you to pick up all the stitches and weave ends. Okay, and grab your needle okay now we're going to slide all the stitches on the double pointed needle to this tail right here so just use the tapestry needle and slide it okay this is the first needle slide all four stitches Okay, now on the second needle, I'm going to slide all four stitches as well, and the last needle, I'm going to slide all the stitches. Okay, to secure, just pull it tight, but don't pull it too tight that you will probably will um, snap the yarn and just bring the yarn from in and out until the stitches secure and make double knot and weave in your ends one two you can just knit this off or you can Make it neater, just weave in the ends through the stitches right here. Okay, so this is the tail where we started round one, and we're going to weave in this as well. Okay, so um, to weave these ends right here, you can do however way that you feel comfortable as long as it is neat. And cut the yarn. Alright, so this is how it looks like. And the decrease. This is how it looks like. If you can see the swirl right there, that is the um, where you did the decrease. Okay, so I do hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. If you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I will try my very best to reply. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your fellow crochet friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And also don't forget to um, follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone. God bless and bye.